Every year we spend a few days photographing at Jökulsalon. The Glacier Lagoon is a visual feast for photographers and with proper planning it's possible to go home with some great shots. Jökulsalon, the Glacier Lagoon as it's often called in English, combines a lot of the things that make Iceland unique. When we come here to the Jökulsalon Glacier Lagoon, it's often difficult to decide am I going for landscape or wildlife because if you have a good light the icebergs in the lagoon are beautiful especially in the evenings and early mornings sunrise sunset and all day you have all kinds of birds you have seals you have spectacular wildlife in a lagoon. So sometimes you have short lenses, sometimes you have long lenses, just depending on how the conditions are. One of the amazing things about the Jökulsárlón Glacier Lagoon is the wildlife. You really don't know what to expect. Sometimes you have arctic terns feeding the chicks here with sand eel. Or sometimes you have seals like the harbor seals we have been seeing here feeding on arctic char or, or herring or you never know and uh, just being here is amazing. One of the reasons Jökuls alone is uh, one of the most popular destinations for uh, those visiting Iceland is the uniqueness of the landscape. You can see the glacier, you can see the ice flows, you can see wildlife and there is somehow the atmosphere is that so much is happening and on the way from the main capital Reykjavik to Jökulsalón we call it the south coast there's so much to see so much to do and you can visit Fjallsalón just a few kilometers from here also a lagoon you can visit Torva Jökull uh, also a nice location to go uh, ice climbing or uh, or, uh, or send the drone there and Svinafellsjökull uh, just name it there are so many locations these locations along with Jökulls alone and the Diamond Beach are some of the locations we cover in our book Photographing Iceland a photo guide to 100 locations we are very happy with the responses we've had with our ebook version of Photographing Iceland. And if you plan to go to Iceland with photography in mind, consider our ebook version of Photographing Iceland. It might help you a lot with the planning. The river you see over there is actually the shortest river in Iceland. Jökulsá in Breiðamerkursandur. Try to say that in Icelandic. Jökulsá in Breiðamerkursandur. It's a short river because it goes from the lagoon and down to the sea. It's just a few hundred meters. The tide is coming in now. So often this means that fish will come in from the sea and then the wildlife gets very active. Seal coming in. beautiful seal, harbor seal. We often come here and spend maybe two, three, four days in, in the area. Uh, sometimes taking one day for wildlife, another one for uh, landscapes. And there's endless motives. This morning 
we sent a drone over the glacier lagoon and uh, saw a seal there on an iceberg. I, I find that a beautiful scene. It was very beautiful to see using the magnifying lens on, on uh, the Mavic 3. It's amazing uh, what kind of shots you can get. I know the quality is not the same as, as uh, the main lens of, of the drone, but it's it's amazing feature, this uh, seven times zoom. And uh, I know the, the lens is maybe not intended for uh, high quality wildlife, but it opens up possibilities that uh, I see that we have a bright future for uh, drones and uh, wildlife photography and uh, videography because you can stay far, far away from, from the wildlife and uh, they have no idea that you're there with a the drone because you may be in uh, 150 meters high or even less and uh, they don't seem to notice. Seals are one of the great motives you can find in Jökulsárlón. Yesterday we had at least seven seals playing around, fishing uh, between the icebergs and uh, it was an amazing sight. It's also amazing to see the interaction between them. Often it's very difficult to photograph and uh, take videos of seals because they're not really uh, cooperative, as you might say. But here in the Jökulsárlón lagoon, you see them often. Most of the time they're diving, hunting or, uh, or fishing but they come up between the icebergs and uh, if you're lucky you can see them even resting on, on, on icebergs. The problem with uh, Jökulsalon Glacier Lagoon and wildlife photography is uh, maybe the popularity of, of the lagoon. Early in the morning there's nobody here so that's when me and Gida often try to be out and uh, photographing. But in the middle of the day, late in the evenings, you have hundreds of people here and you have the boats. The boats sailing around the icebergs in, in Jökulsalon, they're a big problem. They make noise. They are, they are, in my point of view, pollution in the worst way. It's not possible to take any audio. Uh, they're in your frame, more or less, most of the time. And uh, ugly as hell, they are uh, <laughs> making making it difficult to get a clean frame. So if it happens that you have a, a seal resting on icebergs like, like we had yesterday, there are no limits how close the boats go. They, they try to show the tourists uh, the seals, understandably maybe, but uh, that's something in my heart that breaks when I see how they behave around these creatures. I know it's inevitable. They have permission to behave like this. 
but it is what it is. If you have a drone driving from Reykjavik to Jokosalon or even further east, there are a lot of opportunities to use the drone for aerial footage and, uh, and photography, of course. Some of the most photogenic uh, rivers, abstract rivers in Iceland, they are located on, on the south, south coast. And we like to see how the conditions are when we go there because they're always changing. If you visit a river, and send the drone over it with uh, one or two days between them, you will not, probably not get the same conditions. High tide, low tide, it changes everything in, in how, how the bottom of the river is appearing and uh, creating different abstract formations. It's a beautiful day here in the Jökulsalón Glacier Lagoon. Thank you for watching.